Okay, in this video today, I want to show you how to update your Samsung uh, Captivate uh, to Android 4.2.2. Now, the, uh, the steps I'm going to take in this video are only necessary if you are still on Android 2.2. Uh, the name for that was, for that uh, Android version was Froyo or Frozen Yogurt. If you're still on 2.2 and you've never upgraded past that, if you've never upgraded to to, uh, to Gingerbread or anything past that, if you are still on Froyo, you need to take these steps so that so that your phone will work properly after you update. So uh, this is only if you're on 2.2. Otherwise, skip this part of the video or skip this video and just go on to the second part of this. Okay, so it's what you need to do is I'll have a link in the description to this thread here on XDA Developers. And you want to scroll down to post number two and you want to down, go to this link one. And when you click on this link one, it's going to take you to Mediafire, and you want to download this i897 UCKI2 Boogs Kernel .rar. I think it's uh, like 174 megabyte file, somewhere around there. So you'll want to download that file. Okay, I've already downloaded it, and it's right here on my desktop. Now it's a .rar file. That's just a way to compress a file. So we're gonna, I'm gonna open this up. And you can see right here, I'm using this uh, program called WinRAR. If you don't have a program to open up RAR files, that's one that'll work fine. Um, so you can see here, uh, I've got this uh, K12 with boogskernel.exe. So, so what I want to do is take this, take it out of out of this folder, out of this RAR file, and extract it to my desktop. Okay, so I've already done that, and I've got it, the file right here. You can see this .exe. So, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open that. Now, what, it, what this program is, is it, it includes the Odin flashing program. And it, uh, it includes the ROM that you're going to need, it includes kernel that you're going to need, and it includes the bootloaders. You can see there it says with bootloaders. And really that bootloader is the important thing for what we need here, upgrading um, <clears throat> from Froyo. Um, so this is what is called an Odin one click. There's there's nothing that you have to open somewhere else. You just open this file and you're good to go. So once I've opened this, that's all I need there. Okay. Now on my phone is what I'm going to do is I want to put this into into download mode. So it's what I'm going to do. My phone is off. It's completely off. I took the battery out and uh, put it back in without powering it back on. So it's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push and hold the volume up. And notice I'm not hitting the power button here. If you hit the power button, it's going to throw you out, of, throw you into the wrong mode. Okay. So this what I'm going to do now is take my USB that's plugged into my computer, and I'm going to plug it in up here while I'm still holding volume up and down. And you can see there it brought me into this downloading mode. Okay, that's what I want. Now also notice over here on my computer where this showed up yellow. That means that uh, my computer knows that my phone is connected and it's reading it on a port and it's good to flash this. Okay, so from here I'm going to push start. Now what this file is going to do is it's going to update my bootloaders and it's going to update uh, my, uh, my Android version. If you're on 2.2 it's going to update it to 2.3.5 I believe. It's, it's some gingerbread version so it's going to update you to 2.3. Now like I said, this thing has bootloaders in it, and these bootloaders are very sensitive. These are uh, something that's very critical and crucial to your phone operating properly. So when you push start here, make sure nothing's going on with your phone. Make sure you're, you're, you know, this is not happening in a storm or something like that. Make sure when you push start that you're going to be good to let this run through its process. Okay? So when I push start... It's going to connect uh, and it's going to start flashing everything onto my phone here. So this is going to take a, a couple of minutes here for this to go through. So uh, I'll let that happen and I'll pick back up in just a few seconds. Okay, so you can see there it said it passed. My phone is booting back up now. And uh, it's going to go through a little bit of a setup process here. And I'll show you, uh, once this gets through, how we, uh, how we have flashed 2.3.5 here. 
Okay, so I'm just going to skip all this, jump through all this activation stuff here. <clears throat> It's done with that. I can unplug that now. <clears throat> okay, I just want to show you that by flashing that file, we get 2.3.5 here. Okay? That's what we want. There we go. Okay, now... <clears throat> There's a couple things I want to say before I, before I, I stop. <clears throat> we, after you flash this file once, there is no need to flash this file again. Okay? And the reason for it is, is because this includes the bootloads, that's something that we want to mess with as rarely as possible. We don't want to touch the bootloaders. We don't want to keep messing with something where we're flashing the bootloaders because it could, could cause some issues. So once you flash this once, don't flash this thing again. It's not going to hurt, but you don't want to be messing around with flashing this over and over again. So once you flash it once, that's what we want. Okay? And really the whole reason that we flash this is so that we could update our bootloaders. And again, the only, um, the only reason you would go through the steps that I've gone through in this video is if you are on Android 2.2 still and you've never updated past that. That's the only reason you want to do the steps that I've gone through in this video. Otherwise, skip this and go on to the second part. Um, I, hope that, I hope that this helps. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that we can still uh, update our Captivates even to the latest Android version. And uh, seems to be running pretty good uh, with, with the, these custom ROMs that we can put on here. Um, again, I hope this has helped. Uh, thanks for watching today.